Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. My, my name is Joss and I love to talk about fragrance and perfume with you. I'm so glad you're here today. I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel as well as following me on TikTok and Instagram. On Instagram, I post a daily fragrance layering combo every day and you can find me at joss.jane on both Instagram and TikTok. Today, I'm really excited to share with you another edition of affordable alternatives to perfumes. Most of what I have today are designer perfumes. I have a few celebrity perfumes and and a couple of niche but most of this will be designer perfumes and I'm gonna be sharing with you what I have found to be or what I've in some cases what I've heard to be affordable alternatives to some more expensive perfumes or hard to find perfumes so I've got a good variety here I'm excited to share this with you I'm gonna start out with Jo Malone London pomegranate noir I really like Jo Malone's fragrances but I will not pay full price for them full price is very expensive in my opinion. Um, so I have been lucky enough to find some really good deals on fragrance net for Jo Malone fragrances, including this one. So this is a very dry, not very sweet pomegranate fragrance. It's gender neutral, it's spicy, it's really nice. It's currently $131 for a 3.4 ounce bottle on fragrancebuy.ca. And the alternative I have for you is from Bath & Body Works, this is Midnight Pomegranate. So it's definitely not an exact dupe. Like I said, this is kind of an alternative. This one is gonna be a little bit sweeter, a little bit juicier. It's not gonna be quite as dry and spicy as the Jo Malone, but this is a really nice fragrance and it has decent lasting power for a body mist. So I don't think this is currently available at Bath & Body Works, but you can usually find these on Mercari for pretty cheap. If you do have to pay full price for it, it's like $16.50 for this eight ounce bottle versus 131 for a 3.4 ounce bottle. So it's a really good deal. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure you can find this on Mercari. It will probably be coming back to Bath and Body Works because this is a pretty popular one. So it seems to come back pretty regularly. I wouldn't be surprised if it comes back soon, like in the fall, but I think Midnight Pomegranate is a really nice alternative to Jo Malone Pomegranate Noir. Next, one of my favorite white floral fragrances, this is J'adore Infinissime. So this is the most recent flanker of J'adore. J'adore has been around for a long time and I love this flanker. It's really beautiful, sparkly, white floral, a little bit sweet, but not too sweet. And it's just really a gem, I think. So this is currently $88 for 1.7 ounces on Fragrance Net. The alternative I have for you is Nude Suede from KKW Fragrance. Currently, KKW Fragrance is going through some transitions, so they closed down their website. This is currently available on Mercari for around $32 I found recently. So of course, these prices are all subject to change, but this is a pretty good alternative. I do like this fragrance. I do like the Infinissime better. I think it's a little bit more sparkly and bright, whereas this one I think is a little bit more muted. Maybe some darker fruits in here, whereas the um, Infinissime has some citrus, so it's very light, bright, white floral and kind of sweet. This one is a good perfume and I like this, but, and there's definitely some similarities. This is an alternative, like I said, not a dupe, but I think this is a really decent perfume for a pretty good price. So again, this is KKW Nude Sweat. Next, I've got Delina Exclusive from Parfum de Marly and this one is currently $218 for this 75 ml bottle on Fragrance Net. So pretty expensive. And the alternative I have for you is from Nina Ricci, and this is Rose Extase. And Rose Extase is currently $38 for this 2.7 ounce bottle on fragrancenet.com. So this one to me smells a little bit more like the original Delina rather than Delina Exclusive, but I think it's close enough to this because this does smell a lot like Delina. So this one's just a little bit darker, a little bit richer. It's got oud, some other notes that just make it a little bit deeper and darker, but this one is very pretty. It's very sweet, bright, and rose. I think there's lychee in this one too, similar to Delina, but it's just a very pretty fragrance for a very good price. Of course, if you don't mind spending $218 on this perfume, you can certainly do that but if you're looking for something that will give you a very similar experience for a lot less money, this is a really nice alternative. I really love this perfume. I've talked about it quite a few times on the channel and it's really good and it has decent lasting power. Next, this is Tiffany Rose Gold from Tiffany and Company. And this is a really pretty kind of spicy take on the original Tiffany and Company fragrance. It's very pretty, um, but it is kind of pricey for a designer fragrance. So this is $82 for a one ounce bottle at Ulta. And I have a really nice alternative here. I think you've got a really nice alternative in Kate Spade, New York. So Kate Spade, New York is $53 for a 3.4 ounce tester 
on fragrancenet.com. So that's gonna be this size and it may or may not have a cap, I'm not sure. But I think that's a pretty good deal. And these are pretty similar because they're both gonna give you kind of a rosy, strawberry, sweet, fruity floral. I do like this perfume a lot, but I don't think it's really worth $88 for one ounce, in my opinion. Everybody has a different comfort level and what they're willing to pay, but I just don't think it's worth that price. I think I got mine with um, Ulta Points. So the Tiffany is a little bit spicier and I think the Kate Spade New York is a little bit fruitier, but they're pretty similar. Uh, again, not dupes, but alternatives. So I think 53 for a 3.4 ounce of this is a pretty good deal. It's a nice perfume. And if you love a fruity floral, especially with strawberry, this is a really good option. The Tiffany, like I said, it's pretty, but it's I don't think it's worth $88 for one ounce. That's just my opinion. Another newer one, I think I got this um, in that same haul with my Ulta points. This is Burberry Her Eau de Toilette. And this one is $65 for one ounce at Ulta. And I think a nice alternative to this one is Ariana Grande, God is a Woman, which is $45 for one ounce or $65 for 3.4 ounces at Ulta. So this one, there's not a huge price difference, but you can get a lot more for your money if you get this one. These are both really nice perfume. I really like this Burberry Her Eau de Toilette version. It's just really fruity and nice. It's still kind of got the Burberry Her DNA, but it's lighter, brighter, fruitier. God is a Woman, very similar vibe with God is a Woman. So if you want to save a little money, get a little bit more for your money, this is a nice alternative. This one will probably be coming to the gray market, but the Burberry Her line seems to kind of hold their prices they haven't really gone down too far in price on the gray market that I've seen so it probably won't get significantly discounted on the gray market when it hits the gray market but like I said this is a nice one and so another alternative for your consideration the next one I've got is Menagesty Exotic and so this is discontinued very hard to find very pretty floral fruity it's got a mango note i lucked out and found a decent deal on mercari but unfortunately people are overcharging on mercari because although i really like this perfume it is not worth a hundred dollars i don't think so if you want to get this experience i think a very similar alternative is also from Nicki minaj and this one is onika so very similar this is my daughters and she's almost done with it. My two daughters have gone through multiple bottles of this. This is a longtime favorite of theirs. The current pricing is $42 for 3.4 ounces on fragrancenet.com. I have seen it for a lot less than that. The current price, I think everything is kind of expensive right now, unfortunately. So prices are higher than they have been in the past. But again, this is a beautiful fragrance, but I would not pay what they're, they're asking on Mercari for this. So you can get this one, a new bottle on fragrancenet for a pretty decent deal and it's very fruity and fun and it's pretty similar to Menagesty Exotic in my opinion. So again, these two Nicki Minaj perfumes, you can get pretty good deals on this one. So one I don't have currently is Lost Cherry from Tom Ford. I have had a decant of that in the past and so I know what it smells like and and it's a fun fragrance. It's very much a cherry almond. It doesn't have great lasting power for me personally, but it's a nice perfume. I like it. Personally for me, it's not worth the $302 for a 1.7 ounce bottle on fragrance net that is currently being charged. That is, it is just not worth that to me. My alternative is Zara Cherry Smoothie, which you can get for $30 from the Zara website. And like I said, this is an alternative. It's not going to smell exactly like Tom Ford Lost Cherry, but it does have the cherry and the almond, especially in the opening. The dry down's a little bit different than Lost Cherry, but it's still nice. It's a nice floral fruity fragrance. And it's gonna get you a fairly similar experience to Lost Cherry for a lot less money. I think this is a really great offering from Zara. For me, it definitely works instead of Lost Cherry because like I said, I really do like Lost Cherry, but I'm not willing to pay that. So this to me is a great alternative. Next, this is Nuit et Confidence from Anique Goutal. This is a really pretty spicy vanilla fragrance. It's deep, it's rich, it's very intoxicating and beautiful. Perfect for fall and winter. I really like this one. Currently, it's $137 for 3.4 ounces on Fragrance Net. A really beautiful alternative that I love. This is Mercedes Benz Club Black. This is marketed to men, but I think it's very gender neutral, unisex. Unfortunately, this has gone up in price. This is now $76 for 3.4 ounces on fragrancex.com. Unfortunately, it has gotten more expensive, but it's still, still quite a bit cheaper than the Anique Rital. So I think they're fairly similar. This one is gonna be a little bit sweeter. This one's a little bit more dry, but they're both really beautiful and I really enjoy this one. So this one currently is $76. I've seen it for a lot cheaper. 
so you might want to wait but it's still going to be a good 60 or so dollars less than this so mercedes-benz club black is a gorgeous fragrance and i think it's a decent alternative to anique Tal's nuit et confidence so one that i've had in the past but i did declutter because um at the time i wasn't as into white florals this is a beautiful white floral it's Ralph Lauren Blue, and it's currently $86 for 4.2 ounces on Ulta.com. Alternative I have for you is Britney Spears Curious, which is currently $16 for 3.3 ounces on FragranceNet. So that is a really good deal. It's on clearance on FragranceNet. I actually picked mine up on FragranceBuy.ca recently, but it smells a lot like Ralph Lauren Blue to me. It's a very, very pretty white floral which is kind of an unusual thing for celebrity fragrances. They tend to do more floral fruities and more gourmands. This is a beautiful white floral. So this is Britney Spears Curious, and I really like this. Very pleasantly surprised. Um, I think Britney Spears perfumes are very good generally, but I hadn't tried this one until very recently. So it's an interesting bottle, kind of like a little UFO, <laughs> but I think it's a great alternative and much more affordable than Ralph Lauren Blue, if that's something you're interested in. So if you love a white floral, this might be a great affordable option for you. It's Britney Spears Curious. Next, we've got Maison Margiela's Beach Walk. And this one is currently $85 for 100 mil on fragrancebuy.ca, which is a pretty decent deal for this. It's normally, I think, 135. So fragrancebuy.ca has a pretty good deal on this right now as I'm filming this. And a good alternative if you wanna save a little bit of money, I think is from Dolce & Gabbana. This is Dolce Shine. This is currently $59 for 2.5 ounces on fragrancex.com, which is this size. And these two are very similar. There's a lot of really good affordable alternatives to Beach Walk. I think Beach Walk is really pretty. It's a very delicious, coconutty, sunscreeny, very summery vibe. Super pretty. I think Beach Walk is a little bit more floral and Dolce Shine is a little bit more fruity, but they're super similar. Both very much beautiful, bright, summery fragrances. Maybe a little bit more coconut with Beach Walk too, but I think Dolce Shine is a decent alternative if you wanna save a little bit of money. But like I said, this one is actually a pretty good deal currently on Fragrance Buy. So this is one I found on Fragrantica that I, I can't really personally attest to this, but Fragrantica users have said that Gucci for Women by Gucci, similar to Believe by Britney Spears. So I just got this one and this is currently $17 for 3.3 ounces on FragranceNet. I can't even find Gucci by Gucci anywhere, not even on Mercari. I can find minis of it on FragranceNet and on Mercari, but I can't even find like a regular size bottle of Gucci. So it's a very hard to find one. So I, I don't know what it smells like, but people are saying it smells like Believe. So this is actually kind of a cool bottle. I'm definitely getting patchouli in Believe. To me, this is a floral fruity patchouli. So I'd be curious, have you tried Gucci for Women by Gucci, the one that comes in this bottle? I'm just curious what your thoughts are and if you've smelled this one, are they similar? This smells really good to me. I like this and I really like the bottle. So again, this is Believe from Britney Spears. Very good deal on clearance currently on fragrance scent. Another one that I haven't smelled, but I thought I would mention because I recently picked up Forever from Elizabeth Taylor and I think it smells really good. So I was kind of curious what it may smell similar to. And according to some Fragrantica users, it's similar to Creed Spring Flower, which is $223 for a 2.5 ounce tester on FragranceX.com. This is currently $16 for 3.3 ounces on FragranceNet.com. So very cheap. I got mine on Fragrance Buy, but this is an oldie, but it smells really good. Um, this is like a peppery, fruity, kind of an amber floral with some fruits and kind of some pepper spiciness. It smells really good. So I'm not sure if this is actually like Creed Spring Flower. Have you smelled that one? I would be curious to hear your thoughts on Creed Spring Flower if you've tried it. But this smells really good. And I think this is a bargain at $16 for a big bottle. Again, this is Forever from Elizabeth Taylor. It smells very good to me. This is, I think, a very versatile fragrance that, and I think the bottle is really kind of cool. That's a really cool bottle. This smells very versatile to me. Like you could wear this in the office or pretty much anywhere. It's just really, really nice, elegant, not in your face and professional smelling to me. Another one that I have not smelled, but I found this on Fragrantica is Tom Ford Oud Wood, which sells for $164 for one ounce currently on fragrancenet.com. And the dupe I have for you, according to Fragrantica users is 
from Al Haramain, this is Platinum Oud, which is currently $70 on fragrancebuy.ca. I paid a little bit more for it, but it's gone on sale. So this is an interesting fragrance. So it looks like this. Comes in this case, which is, I don't know, a little bit cheap, but whatever. This doesn't feel cheap at all. This feels like a very nice bottle, and it's like a 50th El Haramain's 50th anniversary edition bottle. So it's a cool bottle. It smells really good. It's a deep, rich, spicy oud, gender neutral, unisex, powerful, long lasting. It's not going to be something that you're going to want to wear to your office probably or in an environment where you have a lot of people around. But if you love a really deep, daring, adventurous, gorgeous oud fragrance, you're probably going to like this one. And I think $70 is a pretty reasonable price for this 3.4 ounce bottle. The Tom Ford Oud Wood, which um, again is $164 for one ounce. I haven't smelled it, but this smells very good to me. So I have a hard time believing that the Tom Ford Oud Wood is that much better to warrant that price difference. So I definitely like this. I just got it, but I'm definitely enjoying it. So again, this is Al Haramain's Platinum Oud. And the last suggestion I have for you is actually from another YouTuber. And this is from Kelly Gooch, who has a beauty channel. She is primarily a makeup YouTuber and I've been watching her for many years. I'll link her channel below. She's got a great channel. And she mentioned that Lalabo Santal 33 has a great alternative in Pacifica Neon Moon. And I totally agree with that. When she mentioned that, I thought that is so genius. Why didn't I think of that? Lalabo Santal 33 is currently $88 for half an ounce on Nordstrom.com. This one is $22 at either Ulta or Target. And I think it smells just like Santal 33. So I actually reviewed this one along with four others from this collection. I'll link that video up in the cards for you, but this is one of two from the five that I tried that I decided to buy. I bought this one and I bought Flower Moon. And this is such a great perfume. It's very much like Santal 33, very heavy sandalwood. But what a great deal to get a one ounce bottle for $22 versus a half ounce for $88. And I don't think there's a huge difference in the smell or the lasting power. So I really like Neon Moon from Pacifica and I'm really grateful to Kelly for coming up with that dupe in her latest video because I think it's very accurate and this is an awesome alternative to the very expensive Santal 33 from Lalavo. So those are my latest affordable alternatives to more expensive perfumes. And I would love to hear down in comments if you have any that you know of, I would love to hear from you. Or have you tried any of these? Do you have any thoughts on any of the ones I mentioned today? I always love chatting with you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.